What's up, guys? Hey, uh, working on a project. It's my dad's 80th birthday coming up. Uh, probably should have been working on this a little while ago, but um, finally getting around to it. I have. Uh, I want to make him a birthday card out of uh, metal of some sort, um, but I also want to use my CNC plasma table to um, draw using felt tip markers um, some wording and some some things that I want to write on there. So, um, this is what I'm working on. So, I've got uh, a part that I'm going to make here. And I'm going to be able to attach it to the plasma table. I have to make it spring-loaded. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a headache, but it's all worth it. Uh, this is something I want to do for my dad and do something kind of original and uh, use all my tools to do it. So, um, I'll pick right back up. All right, this is what I've got. So this right here is going to attach to the uh, plasma torch itself. Um, I've taken this piece off right here and I can attach it at this point right here. Um, let me grab one other part. Actually, I was gonna just show you, I had to do some uh, milling, or sorry, uh, turn work for this part. And uh, then I'll use the mill to make a flat on the side of it, kind of as per my drawing that I did right here. So um, I'm working on that. And let me pull this out and I'll show you how it all goes together. All right. So here's my parts. This is the part that I machined at a Dell run. Uh, made some steps in it, clearance holes. And so how this is going to assemble is basically I'm going to take a pin and I'm going to drop it through the hole. So there's our our pin um, and this will move in and out as there's fluctuation or um, as it touches off on the sheet because uh, it has to come down touch the sheet and then back back off um, I had a spring and a piece that I make for a customer that's a scrap piece or a bad piece um, so I'm just gonna utilize that instead of throwing it away I'm gonna load this spring in the back and then I'll thread this Delrin piece so this will actually come in, twist into position like so. And then as you press, it has spring um, tension. So it wants to contact the sheet at all times. I'll mill a flat in this and then I'll, like I said, remove this portion and then put it like so. So then whenever the machine moves in any coordinate, um, then it will draw instead of cut with the plasma torch. So that's what I'm working on. I'll give you an update here just in a little while. All right, I'm uh, not the best at doing this recording stuff Why I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing here. So uh, here we are. Uh, it's been threaded in the ID here at the end for that capture. Um, and then this has been milled flat. So that can be mounted like so. So that's kind of where I'm at. Now I've got to drill, tap these holes so I can uh, get this fixture all done. I'll pick this up in just a moment. Okay, so back here. Um, this is the piece. So... Made a flat in the side of this round stock, threaded the holes at the top, um, cleaned it out with a dirty brush, which is disgusting there. Um, but I try to focus here, but I tapped, drilled and tapped these uh, holes, so I have three anchor points. So that's going to mount up to the uh, um, the torch head. So. Gonna walk around here, see what we got going on. So essentially, slide this on like so, and uh, that's how we'll be sitting. Put the pen in there and the retainer cap, and I'll show you what uh, that looks like here. All right, so this is a test. So it's all mounted up nice and solid to the gantry and to the torch. So I'll just take a pen, whatever color I want. In fact, 
Let me do one thing real quick. Okay, so we're back. Um, now I'm gonna just drop the pen in, whatever color pen I need or want. Then I have this back spring for the downwards pressure, point, pushing down onto the plate. I'll push it into my uh, retainer cap that luckily had or that I make and preload the spring so that will give me tension at the bottom might uh, put a little bit of uh, texture on this piece but it loads spring loaded now so let me reposition this and uh, show you what I've got to do the first test here okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do a test this is gonna drop the uh, the pen down so like so looks like I made contact and then I'll just jog this real quick see how we're doing So, they had a limit switch there, but kind of see what I'm cooking up here. So, now I could uh, work on my dad's birthday card. Uh, just wanted to mention I added that grip so I can fine tune the, the uh, preload spring pressure by quite a bit. So, that's a good eighth of an inch, if not more. Um, so have that ability to kind of uh, fine-tune the downward pressure if it's a fine tip or a or medium point marker and uh, That's basically what she looks like So anyhow That's about it uh, I will come back and show you what's going on a little bit later with the uh, actual doing the card Yeah, this is uh, the word industrial going backwards here. Looks like it's doing pretty good, actually. Yeah, it looks like the R, yeah. So anyways, it looks like it's running pretty good. I just have to clamp down the material so it doesn't move on me. But I think that if, uh, you know, I could use different colors or whatever, kind of make this card pretty cool. So I'm just going to shut up and let you watch it run its course. You can kind of see on the inside of the circles that there's a little uh, kind of a white point, but that's really just the, or the, uh, the pierce point for when the torch normally is to cut it. So it doesn't cut it directly on the line, making it kind of a weird looking circle. Um, so the, when I do this, um, next time it'll be on line, so it won't do that little kind of weird um, extra movement in the inside of the circles. Ooh, barely got it on that piece. So that's that. Let's see how she looks. I mean, looks pretty good to me. So that's the first test piece. Looks pretty awesome.